Welcome to Sculpture Studios. We've got a little resurrection video for you here today of one of my personal all-time favourite projects, and it's the Giant Conquer for AKQA. As part of the Panasonic campaign, we made many other larger-than-life objects, all of which have their own videos on the YouTube channel. These might also be resurrected further down the line, as we like to update some of the old favourites and bring them back to the forefront. But in the meantime, you can always search for the giant pigeon, the post box, and all the other Panasonic objects if you want to check those out. I would say this video is being remastered, but we can only work with what footage we have, but let's see how masterful we can make this anyway. The conch is being made from polystyrene, and is rounded off to give a rough spherical shape. The height of the conch is around 4 foot tall, and an extra foot or so for the stalk that's going on top. Here we've got freelance sculptor Dave Herbert working on the initial sculpt, and Aiden's going through the general feel that he wants to achieve with this, and that raw fleshiness that a real conker has. The raised craters are first carved using nail and wire brushes, and the spikes of all different shapes and sizes are added on with our PU expanding foam. Once Aiden's happy with the shape, and all the detail has been added with stonemason rifflers, the polystyrene is then sanded down to lose that loose poly bead texture. For the smooth hard conker seed on the inside, this pattern's being created from clay, as we can achieve a much smoother surface from clay than if it were made from polystyrene. This will be a real contrast to the exterior shell, and this will be emphasised even further with the artwork finishes later. The polystyrene is covered with our secret sticky back tinfoil, a process which always takes a while, particularly when getting every inch covered on a complex shape like this, but it's a crucial step to protect the polystyrene before going over with resin. For jobs like this, often we keep things broken down, so they're easier to work on at this stage, so in this case the stalk is being fiberglass separately, and we'll add this to the main body afterwards. This stalk also contained a numeric code on the side that corresponds with the Panasonic camera that they're promoting, so anyone that typed this code into a search engine would presumably be directed to the appropriate page to find out what the giant objects were all about. Here you can see we've taken a waste plaster mould of the interior conker, and once this has been jet washed and cleaned up, we can then replicate this in smooth glass fibre. At the time all this video was taken, we weren't only creating the seven giant Panasonic objects, but a large Lego mini land set to go up to Manchester. So we've hired out a large barn unit on a farm that's local to us in order to accommodate the sheer scale of the work. During the process, we've invited our clients from AKQA down to our makeshift studio to see how the work's progressing. With everything being approved, we can move on to the texturing and the artwork, but first a lot of cleaning up is required. Even for an object like this with its rough exterior surface, we still need to clean up all the glass fibre so that it's safe to handle. We then go over with a resin mix with a fillite solution, and this gives it bulk and that textured skin that we're looking for. So that the sculpture can be staked into the ground, we're adding a female tube on the inside, and this will allow it to sit on a male tube when it gets to sight. With all the texture rendering complete, it's finally ready to be brought to life with the painting. The transformation between a sculpture's raw primed state and the finished artwork is often the best part, and here with all the airbrushing complete, it's definitely the moment the sculpture takes on its true form. The conch has been artworked using an airbrush, with a matte finish on the exterior and a high gloss on the interior nut to give it that real shine and a real contrast to the skin on the outside. We've taken it for a little photo shoot out in its natural environment, and alongside some of our other giant objects, these were great fun pop-art pieces for members of the public to come across. It's wrapped up and transported all the way up to Scotland, where it was exhibited in St Andrew's Square in Edinburgh. The other items went to other major cities around the UK, each promoting both the Panasonic Lumix camera and inspiring an online competition for the best photograph that incorporates size and perspective. We'd like to thank AKQA for the work, 
And for this fantastic first project to kickstart our working relationship, we've enjoyed many projects since, and we look forward to more projects in the future. These giant objects were a big hit, and if I may say so myself, seem too good to throw away, so I wonder where the objects like the Conqueror are now. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.